name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus be with all of you. And with your spirit. We enter into Tuesday of Holy Week. We continue to meditate upon these great themes of the gospel leading up to the truth. For all those times that we have failed our God, we say, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For all those times we have failed each other, we say, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. In thanksgiving for healing, the chance to begin again, we say, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and lead each one of us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant us to celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's passion that we may merit to receive your pardon. We ask this in the name of Jesus, living now, forever and ever. Amen. reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear me, O islands. <coughs> Listen, O distant peoples. The Lord called me from birth. From my mother's womb, he gave me my name. He made of me a sharp-edged sword and concealed me in the shadow of his arm. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver he hid me. You are my servant, he said to me, Israel, through whom I show my glory. Though I thought I had toiled in vain and for nothing uselessly spent my strength, yet my reward is with the Lord. My recompense is with my God. For now the Lord has spoken, who formed me as his servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him, and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, he says, for you to be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks be Upon you I depend from 
So Simon Peter nodded to him to find out whom he meant. He leaned back, asking, Master, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I have the morsel after I have dipped. So he dipped the morsel, took it, handed it to Judas. After Judas took the morsel, Simon, Satan entered him. So Jesus said, What you are going to do, do quickly. Now none of those reclining at the table realized why he said that. Some thought that since Judas kept the money bag, Jesus had told him, buy what we need for the feast. So Jesus took the morsel and left. When he had left, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself. My children, I will be with you only a little while longer. You will look for me as I have told the Jews. Where I am going, you cannot come. Simon Peter said to him, Master, where are you going? And Jesus answered, Where I am going, you cannot follow me now, though you will follow me later. Peter said, Master, why can I not follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. And Jesus answered, Will you lay down your life for me? Amen, amen, I say to you, the cock will not crow before you deny me three times. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, we continue this week reflecting upon these very powerful Gospels of the Passion, leading, of course, up to Good Friday and Easter. But today I wish to digress just a bit and reflect not upon these readings, but upon the saint that we celebrate today. Today is the feast of St. John Baptist de la Salle founder of the Christian Brothers. And I have a special reason to be thankful to De La Salle and the Christian Brothers that I wish to share. De La Salle lived in the seventh, died in the 1700s, and he lived at a time in France, came from a very wealthy family, was highly educated, but he realized that poor people and children of workers, artisans, carpenters, builders, they never were able to go to school. It was simply too expensive for them. So John Baptiste de La Salle gathered a few friends together, had them live in his nice big house, and began teaching children of ordinary people. And he is considered the founder of Catholic schools. And even today there are some 
1,500 grade schools, high schools, and colleges named after De La Salle. But they were especially, and continue to remain rather prominent in California. In California, they still run a beautiful college, St. Mary's College, and they have um, their novitiate at, at a beautiful house on a winery because they began Christian Brothers Winery in California. Um, and they, um, they're in, in Napa. And the Dominicans for many, many years, since we have so many houses in California, we were chaplains to the Christian Brothers in a number of their schools, but especially at St. Mary's College. And for years, we were chaplains at their novitiate in this huge winery in the hills above Napa. Well, I was ordained in 1962 in December, and I had another year of graduate studies to finish my uh, graduate theological degree. And so I couldn't really go out and have a regular assignment. But that summer, in the summer of 1963, while still studying, I was sent to take the place of the Dominican chaplain at Mount LaSalle, at their huge winery where their novitiate was. I was to be chaplain for the summer for the novices. And being there, I still have such fond memories of that place. Incredibly beautiful chapel sit, it, sitting in those vineyards. And I had nothing to do but except to complete my doctorate thesis. And so I worked day after day. I don't think I would have ever finished my thesis. My brother, Peter, who was also a Dominican for many years, he went to Rome for his doctorate, but he never finished his thesis. I know many Dominicans that never finished his thesis. But because I was there alone all summer, I had nothing to do but write. And I finished it. I finished my thesis. So I got my degree, and it was especially important because when the time came for a new director of the Newman Center in Seattle, they had gone through about 10 directors in about 12 years in Seattle, the archbishop there insisted that a priest be appointed with a doctorate, a, a, a university degree. Mine was a licentiate, but it was considered like a church doctor. And I had this degree because of my time at Mount LaSalle. And so I was appointed the director up in Seattle, and the rest, of course, is history. But one final note that I still don't fully understand. As I say, the Christian brothers who have since sold their winery. They still have their beautiful division up there, but they sold the winery and the name Christian Brothers Wines many years ago. But of course they served. Every night they served me a beautiful dinner. And in, in the seminary we were served wine also, and I always loved, I learned to drink wine at meals as a Dominican. I always enjoy a glass of wine at dinner, even today. But it's the, from the first day I was at Mount LaSalle, sat down to a beautiful dinner to enjoy. They always gave me some wonderful Christian Brothers wine. From the very first night that I sipped the wine, my stomach just turned in horrible pain. Every night when I tried to try some, I couldn't drink any of it. My stomach would not allow me to drink. It didn't happen at mass, a little, only at dinner when I wanted to have a little glass of wine. It was like an angel above me saying, no, you are not to taste the fruit of the vine until you have finished your work. So that's my memory and thanksgiving to the Christian brothers
for leading me on to where I am today. Let us stand and offer our own special prayers. We pray on this feast of their founder for all Christian brothers and the work they do. And so there are many thousands of schools. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our we continue to pray for all the nurses and doctors and technicians during this crisis. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our I invite your prayers. I pray for the close the soul of John Kim, the father of my former students from San Diego for whom we're offering this Mass. I pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we stand before you. Hear our prayer, silent spoken. We give them all to you, Jesus, forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given human hands, and may it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice of ours might truly be pleasing to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice that your hands, the grace and glory of blessing, for our good and the good of all of us, Holy Church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings made here, and grant that celebrating your Son's passion, we may experience the grace of its effects. We ask this in Jesus' name forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right, just, duty, salvation, always, everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, eternal God. For through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, bestow virtue and its rewards through Jesus. Through him the angels praise your majesty. Heaven, the virtuous heaven, the blessed seraphim, worship together. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs as we say, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, <clears throat> he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. 
When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the cup of salvation. Give me thanks you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring us the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Edward, our Bishop, all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy upon us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, the Apostles, all the saints who have pleased you that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, praising and glorifying you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Confident then that the Lord walks with us, let us repeat the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church and grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with each of you. And with your spirit. We exchange that sign of peace. Lamb of God, This is Jesus who takes away our sins. Happy are we to come and be healed by his love. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be
Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we ask your mercy, Lord, that by the same sacrament with which you have fed us in this age, you make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. And you bow your heads. May your mercy, O God, cleanse the people that are subject to you from all seduction of former ways. Make us capable of new holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the peace and bless Almighty God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, descend upon us, remain with all of us forever. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go to love and serve the Lord in peace.